bracket that they have to run up against Nair, the character. Uh, this is not a shot at Travesty. I know nothing about him or his play style, so let's go ahead and judge that now. Already starting off with some good bread and butter stuff, but I really like that down air actually. That down air to kind of like reset the situation from Travesty. He's already kind of commanding the entire tone uh, of this game by forcing Les to play on the defensive. Um, just again with the way that he's chasing how Les is reacting to getting hit by the straight hit in the throws. 74% uh, completely uncontested. And uh, Travesty is pretty content to just play the keep away game. He's got these moves that disjoint. He's got the uh, auto rifle to kind of play keep away. Now that Les is off stage, what's to stop him from just going for an air and trying to end it quick? Trading one hit and finally getting a grab, but Les is not able to make anything of it. Whereas Travesty, every time he gets a hit, it feels like he gets two more right after. So Les, we got to figure out, you know, we got to find some way for you to get momentum. Perhaps this is where it gets started, but nope. Down tilt's going to take that very swiftly. Oh, okay. All right. My man went in the training room. I see you. And it's actually, though, like, I, I know that people will meme about, like, oh, I can do this cool little tech thing uh, to be flashy in between stocks. But something like that is actually kind of cool because if your opponent doesn't read which way you're going, it's a great way to burn their invincibility. And with a character like Inkling, who's already hard to touch, unless you are Travesty, who's just going to dare spike him, you know what? Yeah, go ahead and do that a few more times. Boom. Now he's not invincible anymore. All right. Remzi, I see you in chat, too. What's up, buddy? Always good to see you. Wish you were out here tonight, and I wish you'd come out, too. Takeover at Wonderfly. December 14th, Remzi. Put on your calendar. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and uh, see Les try and make something with this stock. Gets that F-Mash out of that berry. Uh, can't really say he's evening it up, but you know what? He's trying. I really thought that ink was going to gimp him for a second. I stopped breathing. I really stopped breathing. This game has those weird interactions that, like, you know, like the, uh, the mist tech, actually an air dodge buffer. Uh, or those those hits that kind of just nick you a little bit off stage, and you'd be dying at like two percent sometimes. But nope, Les didn't get it there, and unfortunate for him. That just means Travis can run away with this momentum. Travis has been doing a fantastic job at keeping Les off stage when he is off stage, um, whether it's uh, falling there or just kind of like conditioning him to go a certain way with the explosive flame, running up with that back throw, pivot grab, yeet, get out of here. Travesty's really thinking, where do I wanna where do I wanna not go? But honestly, sometimes with a game like that, when it's uh, so commanding, uh sometimes it really is just like, alright, what's my least favorite stage? I don't even care about this matchup. The inkling, uh Les is choosing to go to Battlefield. I imagine there's not gonna be a character switch. Oh, I lied! Crom! Alright. You know, I actually don't know that I would uh I don't know if I think this is better or not. Three, two, one, but we'll have to see how it plays out. Again, Travesty starting off very uh, very much the same. Getting some early percent grab combos and forcing him off stage. Missing that next grab. It looked like he offered a turnaround grab there by accident, but regardless, again, it's off the exact same way. 87% off stage exchange and the counter. See, that's why. I wouldn't think that Krom would be good here because that counter can just be so destructive. Um, it's kind of going to force Les to recover at certain angles uh, or it's going to force Les to air dodge. But in any event, uh, Travesty may be regretting missing that down tilt on Krom's recovery there because this character can kill you very fast. Just a few hits and already he's at 46% and does not take much to kill. Okay, all right, we're going to see a back throw. That absolutely should clean up that stock. Luckily, Travesty, Travesty was able to clean that stock up. Again, we're going to see these teleport cancels to burn that in bone. Not quite as well as he was the last game. Not sure if the difference in platforms or if he just did a whoopsie, but, you know, it is what it is. Okay, all right, that was, uh, that was kind of tricky. Doing the jump and the teleport back, you can very much tell that Les was focused uh, on Travesty's get-up options. And again, he's just going to keep going for those uh, teleport cancels. If if I were Les, 
and I say this as if I would actually do this in the middle of the game and not just choke it. Um, if I were Les, I'd be trying to think about where Travis D is going to go when he does these recovery options because uh, the teleport cancel actually is pretty punishable, but only if you read where they're going to go. Um, Chrome can definitely throw some meaty hitboxes. I don't think he does the best job at punishing a movement option like that, but he definitely can. Uh, maybe stage dependent position wise, it could be like an up smash or something. Uh, but in any event, we are going to see Les get that stock off, and it's not exactly an even game, but it's a lot closer than it was the last one. Uh, I'm going to see some quick combos here. Yep. 30%. It's actually looking a lot better for Les. But now he's off stage, and this is looking a lot worse. Counter, and he has exhausted his jump. See, all right, here's here's what I don't get about what Travis is doing, right? He puts him in these positions where he counters him, forces him to jump back to stage, and then explosive flames him. I think he's hoping to get like a weak hit to push him out, or like the, like a certain hit that pushes him more horizontally, or kills off the top. But he has actually saved Les every time he's hit him with that off stage. Uh, not sure how intentional that is, but. He done it. Regardless of any kind of whoopsie that he might have, Travis C is doing a great job with this game. Flippy, great to see you in chat. Hope you come out to take over at Wonderfly. Ooh, all right. Nice little down tilt conversion there. Yeah, Les has got to do something to clean up this stock. Like that, okay. Hit a straight F smash, absolutely going to kill. But how, how are you going to take this stock? Uh, because now, this next time you're off stage, if you recover with your uppy, it should just be easy for Travis C to counter that. For our back air, good use of the air dodge and the get up attack. Nice. All right, here we go. Hold on. Les has got himself something of a actually advantage position here. Advantageous, sorry. Ooh, Nair is going to kill it. Jeez Louise.